There's a number of, of shark species that have been listed as threatened or critically endangered. So it's really important that we're able to protect not just our marine environment, but the estuaries and the freshwater systems that these species inhabit. It's probably the best harbour in Australia, really pristine. We've got more coral species uh, than they do on the Great Barrier Reef, and that's why we need research projects that can ID species accurately uh, to be able to get enough information so that we can accurately manage species and stocks. Conservation is at the heart of what we do, and I feel very privileged and lucky to have the job I have. One of our biggest challenges is dealing with saltwater crocodiles. In parts of the Northern Territory, we've got some of the largest populations in the world, and we catch over 300 per year in Darwin Harbour, because we simply can't dive into the water to go and explore and to count and identify fish or marine species. And as a result, we've had to look at alternative methods, one of those being the use of underwater video. The problem we had was simply identifying fish in the video because you couldn't always see them very well. So the work we're doing with this AI and machine learning is really important to us. The water is quite green, uh, fish, fish move, so they change shape, they have different behaviours. Uh, they blend in with the reef, they blend in with each other, they blend in with uh, the background. We've created an approach to detect the, the shape of fish in water and, and to count the, the number of fish and the different types of fish in water. Once we had that first solution that could positively ID a fish and not identify it as a hot dog or an umbrella or anything else, we really felt we were onto something. And then from there it was really a matter of then finding the right tool set to be able to improve and optimise our solution. There is hundreds of hours and terabytes of footage that needs to be counted and quantified. We've taken that activity and, and reduced it uh, essentially to, to minutes, which enables them to focus on the, the research and the analysis and the trends which inform policy rather than focusing on watching video. It's an incredibly exciting project because it has uh, global applicability to, to quantifying fish stock. Scientists and communicators and politicians and everyone needs to be thinking about marine conservation and how to apply technology to aid that because if you're not thinking about it and you're not looking after it then it's going to disappear really quick. I'm proud of the team that we're a part of and, and what we're doing here in the Northern Territory. We're a really small team and a really remote place so to be able to do this quality of work is something pretty special. I wouldn't want to be any other place.